Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We're going to kick off this Friday's Finds with washing. We've had... Oh, Thanks to El Nino, it's been raining. It's been raining pretty much nonstop. Seems like for two. I don't think we've seen the sun for two weeks. But I had to go down to Houston and back in the RV and the the truck, and a lot of that driving was in pouring rain. And I have yet to uh, have the opportunity to wash it. But we've got a washing product to check out. This is from the the. Uh, Soap, the soap fee store on Amazon. We're going to check out their foam cannon. Let's unbox this real quick. And then we have an unsponsored product. We're going to, we're going to put in there. It says right here, controllable foam quantity, dense and rich foam, fast installation and a larger bottle volume so it is a bigger bottle I like that comes with a package of nozzles there's our foam set up and then we've got the tube that goes on there. That's really nice. It's it's brass. I like that. I like that a lot. So here's where we control our foam volume. Anything else in here? There's a book. Instruction book. Okay, we read the instruction book. We're good to go. All right, so and what we're going to run through there, I've not ever used this, but I was out of the other. So we're going to try the Griot's Garage Ceramic Washing Coat, and it is appropriate for a foam cannon. But before I play with the foam cannon, I got to break out the pressure washer and get set up so that I can wash, foam, scrub, and rinse. A lot of work ahead of me. I think the foam cannon is incredible. I'm, I'm not too impressed with the solution. It does, doesn't seem to really cut through the grime. Anyway, I'll keep going and check back in.
like this foam cannon. I like that it holds a, a lot of liquid. Uh, it's all brass. I mean, it's very durable. It gets the job done. You'll like it too. Shazam! We're now in the motor home. We're headed down to Dillo Days. So you're going to be seeing this the Friday after Dillo Days. We got a product. It is from Avaport. And it is a 25 foot outdoor camping lanyard. A way to get your stuff up off the ground. I'm not going to open unbox it here because it's 25 feet long and I can't do justice in the motorhome. But we can talk about this. This is the Levin Bluetooth headphone with a transmitter charging dock. I have a hearing issue. And with Yappy working from the house, Sometimes it's hard to hear the TV when she's talking. You know, she's a she's a real estate professional, so there's a whole lot of that going on. So this is going to come in very handy. Oh, very comfy. When you pair this, the dock charging dock. Let's look at it down here. So it charges this also transmits there are let's see. use the fiber optic connection or you can use the RGB it's actually not the RGB it's the, the left and right so you can use the headphone jack I'll get it charged up and uh, I guess you're just gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> I don't know how to how to tell you what it sounds like. I mean, I I'll figure it out. Let me get it charged up and hooked up, and, and we'll go from there. All right, we have one more item for this. This is a small edition of Friday's Finds, and this is from how do you pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Lex Quartz. These, I like these. You don't have, these are wire connectors. They don't require solder. You, you just heat this band up. Anyway, I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you how it works. Two pieces of wire. I need one piece of wire. So we're going to take one of these. We're going to flare that out, flare that out, and we're going to, yeah, we're going to slide them together like that, we'll give it a little twist, put that on first. And now we're going to slide. I really needed a, a larger gauge of wire to do this, but and now we're just going to melt the metal band. We heat it up. And the plastic will shrink and the metal will shrink. Now, if I had the appropriate gauge, this would have already been melted down. I'm having to go a little longer to get that to melt down far enough. But even still, it's working quite well. And there you go. A solderless soldered connection.
and I pull it pretty hard and it doesn't come apart. Solder seal, wire connectors. You should have one for every side. So the, the yellow is up to, it's for 10 to 12 aug. If you're working with the smaller wires, the 22 to 16 aug would be red. The blue is 16 to 14. So I really should have had uh, a 16, a blue one or a red one. These are great. You should have one of each in your kit. Does your RV have a 50 amp plug? Mine does. The 50 amp service is primarily there to operate two air conditioning systems. So if you're in Texas or some other place where it's hot, you need two air conditioners in July and August. If you don't have to have the two air conditioners, then a 30 amp plug, 30 amp pedestal will work for you, but you have to adapt. I'm currently set up on a 50 amp plug but hypothetically, if I was not on a 50 amp plug and I needed to, or if for some reason that 50 amp plug is not functioning and I couldn't get anyone to come out and fix the 50 amp, I could plug into that 30 amp if I have a dog bone, an adapter. That's what you're looking at here. This little device right here. 50 amp on that side, 30 amp on this side. And that allows you to power the, the main necessities in your RV. In our case, that would be the refrigerator, the microwave, and an air conditioner, as well as the converter to charge our battery bank. You only need 30 amps to do that. If you want to run both air conditioners, you'll need to do some additional modifications to be able to operate both mod both AC units on a 30 amp plug. It's not it's not recommended to do that because there's just there's not a whole lot of power. But if you have a 30 amp site, you need an adapter for your 50 amp RV. It's a good one. Ooh, I'm, I'm so excited. So the 11 headphones that you can connect to your TV. I, I also, you can pair it to your 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 Bluetooth or your phone or your, your tablet. So right now, we're watching Dude RV. Can you hear that? I wonder where I was, where those guys were. And, and it charges wirelessly. I don't have to plug it in. This is going to be so cool. I can pair it to my phone and, and have audio from my phone while I'm driving. How cool is that? Of course, it'll be just streaming. It won't be two-way communication. This is cool. You'll like it. Here I am in camp. I'm at a state park. I want to hang up some gear. I'm going to use this 25 foot outdoor camping lanyard lanyard. So I pull it out of the bag. It's got a, it's got a pretty good instruction card for showing you how to put that together. Let's take a look and see what's in this bag. It's kind of, kind of really windy. <laughs> it's really windy, not kind of windy, really windy. So we've got a number of carabiners some S hooks, some Velcro. In the bag, strap, another strap, and another strap. That one wraps around a tree. That one wraps around the tree. All right, so now, what I, now we know what we have. So. 
This is right handy. Wraps around the trees. You've got a, a clamp buckle. The, the, the harder that pulls, the tighter that gets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 20 loops. 25 foot. So you're, you're not going to span 25 feet. But you can get a pretty good spread on that. And you can keep all your camp stuff up off the ground so it doesn't get lost and you keep up with it that way yeah it's easier to keep up with your stuff great place to hang your camping gear you'll be happy you have it i know i am get in the sun yeah there we go that's better lighting well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Fried Day's Finds. Man, what a great place to close out this video. In case you couldn't tell, I was all over the place shooting this one. <laughs> so all of these products are available on Amazon. And as I usually do, I will provide you with a link in the card up there and in the description down there. That link will take you to the Fried Day's Finds playlist on the dude rv gear recommendations amazon page your business is most appreciated if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button that really does help and if you would post a comment down there just just anything i don't care what it is please post a comment that really helps with the algorithm as well for those of you who have been following along thank you i sure appreciate it and for my patrons, I am so grateful for your generosity. You got rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?